Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you um, a recipe and the method for making a very basic bath salt. So the materials you're going to want are salt, obviously. There are many different types of salt. You can even add them in combination. Say, for an example, um, you can do Epsom salt, just Epsom salt. You can do just sea salt, or you can add Epsom salt and sea salt. And the qualities for each salt are a little different. Um, and like I said, there's many, many different types of types of salt, there's many different combinations. So just for an example, let's say we did, um, I don't know, five cups of Epsom salt. Um, you can do um, five cups of just sea salt, or you can, you can do a three to two ratio of Epsom salt and sea salt, which would be three cups of Epsom salt, two cups of sea salt. You can do that too. Um, but f just for my sake, I'm just going to do five cups of Epsom salt. Then um, what else you're going to want is um, bowls. You're going to, at least for this recipe, you're going to want two. If you want to add colorants, you're going to want more. Um, but I like the more natural look of my sea salt. So you're going to at least want two bowls. And then you're going to want a um, spoon or a whisk. I would prefer a wooden spoon. Maybe even um, a metal spoon would be better. Um, but just any spin in particular. And then you're going to want a jar and your essential oil. Um, you can use fragrant oils too. Um, just make sure that your fragrance oils are skin safe. So the method for this um, recipe is in your largest bowl that you have, you're going to want to measure out your salt. So it could be just five cups of Epsom salt, it could be five cups of sea salt, it could be the three to two ratio I gave you. But you're going to measure out your sea salt, and you're going to want to make sure that there are no clumps in your sea salt, or Epsom salt, or your combination. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is after you've mixed it together and made sure there are no clumps you're going to want to take your separate bowl and you're going to want to add five percent of your bath salts or of dendritic salt to your bath salt I'm sorry I, I got a little bit confused and for an example if you did five cups of Epsom salt, sea, sor, sea salt and or the ratio um, you are going to want to add I would recommend adding um, a cup of dendritic salt um, but if you don't have dendritic salt um, it's okay but you might end up with clumps and your scent not lasting longer and your colorant not evenly distributed um, if you use colorants so that's why I use dendritic salt I love dendritic salt so, after you have added your 5% solution to another bowl, you're going to want to add your fragrance. I would add your fragrance slowly. I would start with uh, adding it five drops at a time and smelling it and seeing if it's um, the fragrance that you want. And then when you've got your fragrance, you mix it in with your dendritic salt and then after you've mixed your dendritic salt and fragrance together you are going to add it to your Epsom salt sea salt and or ratio mixture then after that you're going to want to grab your mason jar and um, a scoop would be helpful but you can use a spoon um, you are going to want to add it to your mason jar and then after you've added it to your mason jar you're going to want to obviously screw on your lid so yeah that's the recipe and how you do it um, say for an example you wanted to add colorants you would have more bowls and what you would do um, is you 
after adding your fragrance oil would add your colorant or colorants. So after adding your dendritic salt and your fragrance, you would separate your dendritic salt into separate bowls if you wanted um, more than one color. And you would add only like a few drops of colorant. Um, and then you would stir your um, colorant into your dendritic salt. And then you can layer it. You can make it look like a candy cane if you're only using one f um, colorant. You can make it bicolored, tricolored. The results and possibilities for this very basic recipe are endless. But that's just a basic recipe. And um, what I'm going to do since I'm not feeling very well is um, I'm going to gather up all of my materials when I'm feeling better and I'm going to show you how to make this recipe because I've got I've got everything I need I just need to get my dendritic salt so that's the basic recipe and a side note um, when you find your bowls your spoons your whisk um, I would recommend buying them new if you can um, new is actually better in my opinion, safety reasons. Um, if you can buy them new, buy them new. Um, and after you use them for making bath salts, you want to use them for specifically making bath salts only. And the reason for this is, say you use um, a bath salt bowl for cooking, people are going to taste your bath salts and they might get sick. And that wouldn't be good. So, that's the reason for that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Like I said, next video I make on bath salts, I will make the recipe with you. And I will give you the recipe again. Um, if you need it, I would prefer watching this video so that you have the recipe and an idea of how to do it. Um, but some people are visual, so that's fine too. If you watch this video and then watch me making it, that's fine. So, anyway, enough of my ranting. And I guess I will see and talk with you later. Bye.